the Lion and the Lamb. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel or cry aloud, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. Matthew 12, 18 to 21, quoting Isaiah 42. The Father's very soul exults with joy over the servant-like meekness and compassion of his son. When a reed is bent and about to break, the servant will tenderly hold it upright until it heals. When a wick is smoldering and has scarcely any heat left, the servant will not pinch it off, but cup his hand and blow gently until it burns again. Thus the father cries, Behold, my servant in whom my soul delights. The worth and beauty of the Son come not just from His majesty, nor just from His meekness, but from the way these mingle in perfect proportion. When the angel cries in Revelation 5-2, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? The answer comes back, weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Revelation 5, 5. God loves the strength of the lion of Judah. This is why he's worthy in God's eyes to open the scrolls of history and unfold the last days. But the picture is not complete. How did the lion conquer? The next verse describes his appearance. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain. Revelation 5, 6. Jesus is worthy of the Father's delight, not only as the Lion of Judah, but also as the slain lamb. This is the peculiar glory of Jesus Christ, God's incarnate Son, the stunning mingling of majesty and meekness.